Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. But most importantly, let me confirm again that probably this is the last political array that is taking place before Parliament opens on Friday. For one simple reason, initially I had um, called for my fellow parliamentarians to walk out on the president because of these ugly persecutions taking place. But we are reliably informed that the president is coming to dissolve Parliament on Friday and is calling for early elections. He is dissolving us on Friday, so this is probably his last act before we, we go into the campaign mode. And um, I'm calling upon the Zambian people to know that uh, as we go into campaigns in the next three months, it's not me who is the opposition political party. It is not Edgar Lungu. It is not Nakachinda. It's not Fred Membe. It is a bag of milli meal. That's the biggest opposition that they have. So as we go into the campaigns, as he dissolves us on Friday, I personally will come it. I'll give him a clap, let him dissolve us, and we're ready to go into the campaign. Because the country can't be campaigning continuously. So, so that's the current update. Thank you. We are now on the side of Hello? Hello? If you want to have it easy, you will not have it easy. Hello? You want to abuse members of parliament to the parliament again? What are the boys going on? Oh, this gentleman came and abducted Munia. They want to abduct Munia from here. What? They are calling themselves police what officers. Are they are they come and calling, they calling themselves police officers. officers. Yeah? Hey. In parliamentary grounds. How? I think what, 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 what can I run to? They know my number. They can send me a call out and they come here. These guys are also also the presidential speech. Then they want to abduct me. How? When they can easily send me a call out. That's nonsense. For example, that statement that came from Munia Zulu to say Parliament is dissolving, eh, it brought uh, some some uh, apprehension in a number of people, and I'm talking about it because a number of people were asking me. There was even a lady that called me from uh, from London, asking me, "Is it true? I've heard that Parliament is being dissolved. Is it true?" And I was thinking to say, "Look, this is a careless statement that is causing apprehension." In the public, I mean, for people to call, for, for somebody to call all the way from London, call it, it means, I mean, the, it, the, the, the statement has caused the apprehension. And these are the kind of statements that I'm talking about that I think we should be careful. We should be careful when we are issuing some of these statements because they can send, they can send apprehension, anxiety in public. Especially these days when we are talking about coups, 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 coups. And then, you know, you go and issue such a statement, I think that statement, uh, uh, with due respect to the Honorable Member of Parliament, uh, was was out of order, really. It was out of order. Uh, but I want to, I'm talking about it here, because some of you have been talking about it, have been asking, and I'm glad that the uh, State House has also come in to issue a statement to that effect, that no, Parliament is not dissolving. So State Out has, has issued a statement, Parliament is not dissolving, and um, also the Minister of Information has also issued a statement in that regard to say, urging people to look forward to the opening of Parliament tomorrow by the President. Otherwise, that statement, I don't know where it was coming from, I don't know, I don't know what facts uh, you know, the Honorable Member of Parliament had, I don't know. I don't know where it came from. I don't know. But we have confirmation. State Out has spoken about it. Minister of, Ed Minister of Information has spoken about it. 
and certainly I much as Waka in the Ichirima is not doing very well, but I don't think he uh, is at that point where he would uh, he would come and uh, just dissolve parliament like that. He's not doing well. Yes, I mean there are a number of things which are not doing right. That is a fact. But to come and dissolve parliament, I think that is uh, uh, it was it was a careless statement. It was a careless statement. And those are the kind of statements that I'm talking about that we should be avoiding as politicians. Those are the kind of statements that, uh, you know, uh, that causes anxiety in, in people. And we should avoid doing that. I am not perfect. Tomorrow I might issue a statement like that one. Uh, please, those of you who are close to me, tell me to say, ah, but this statement, Tairi Wino. And uh, I will have no shame to come back and say, I'm sorry for that statement. Yeah, I will say things as they are. I will not favor you. When somebody is your friend, you know, you come out in a certain way. But when you are not friends, you just come out straight away. Like, Kesi Abamunia Zulu. Mamunia Zulu, Vale for Vale, 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 Yama, Waka, Papo, Pape, Bupan, and Kanepa Facebook. Munia is my friend. But clearly, even the way he's coming out himself. I mean, that is not friendship. That is not friendship. So if there is no friendship, what do you expect me to say? When you were careless in talking, eh? you, when you are careless, you are alarming the nation to say the president is going to dissolve parliament. At no, I was talking about, uh, what about resign? Eh? Some people have been calling him to resign. There are two different things. When you say the president must resign, and when you say the president is coming to dissolve parliament, these are two different uh, scenarios. These are two, I can say it. Let President Haka uh, uh, Indi resign. I've said it before. But if I'm going to say he's going to, to, to stop government, he's going to dissolve government, I mean, that is a serious issue. That's a serious issue. That's a serious issue. And no, I was not saying that they should, they should give me a call out. What were you saying? It is on video. It is on video. You said it. Why can't they send a call out to me? And you want to make it like Baka Pokola, they have an obligation to send a, a call out. It's not a law to send a call out. And yes, the members of parliament, they, they protected you on, on parliament grounds. But the fact is that if it is a criminal matter, they can arrest you from anywhere. A criminal matter, they can arrest you from anywhere. Even in parliament, they can arrest you if it is a criminal matter. Unless what you say within parliament, that is different. Not you commit a crime outside and then why in parliament. Parliament is not a, 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 a refuge for criminals. If you have committed a crime, no. No. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for me, the police were not wrong. And I'm not saying this because of... No, I'm, it is just what it is. The police can arrest you on parliament grounds. And what Munia said, it is wrong, it is alarming the nation. It is alarming the nation because you also encourage Munia Zulu to, to go, you know, astray. You, 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 you know, worship the young man, even when he has done something which is wrong. You come out and, no, no, hey, he's a courageous, he's courageous. No, courageous is not doing something wrong. No. When you are, when you are saying something that is responsible, that is not being courageous. Okay, if you are courageous, be ready to go to be ready to go to police. Don't start running away and start making excuses. Hmm? No, they wanted to abduct me, abduct me. Come on, let's face it. Bakapokola pick us, but at the end of the day, we know where they take us. This is Zambia. Even some of these ways to more abduction, abduction, abduction. Zambia. Why do you want to create uh, things which are which are not there? Abduction, abduction, abduction. Muzambi abduction. Bala kusenda kiri kiti kiri kiti vali husende na nikani muamba. Uyo fast fast tuwa umfwa tali pana nikani pai masdeo. Eh baka mbuiri uyo tuwa umfwa. Uje na nikani stadi muali kiri kiti kiri kiti aliku ba umoro. So come on. Mm. Of course, I mean the police should conduct themselves more professional, more professional. That's for sure. But come on, let us not uh, create laws for our convenience. No. Let's not create clothes for our convenience. This is DJ Mutati exclusive.
all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go